Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of the 26th through the 2nd. So what do we have for Pisces? Oh, what do we have for Pisces? Arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. You are on the right path. Oh, pig, beware of greed. Came flying out. Beware of greed. Remain humble. Beware of greed, okay. Door, opportunities are waiting for you. Another one just fell off, too. Um, opportunities waiting for you. It looks like the door is closed. You're, this opportunity has not been presented yet, or it has, and you have not gone through that doorway. The door is closed. The opportunity is waiting for you right now. Pale. Time to get out of a situation. It is time. Maybe you need to close the door. I mean, it is time for you to get out of a situation by the looks of things. I think that's been going on for a while, but I think a lot of you have just been ignoring it. What do we have for Pisces? Sometimes, you know, I just don't want to be alone, but I read a quote today, this morning. Uh, it's better to be... I saved it. It's interesting because you guys were up next and this quote came up this morning. Here comes the sirens right on time, huh? Don't settle. It's better to face a little loneliness now than a lifetime of loneliness with the wrong person. Saved it today at 9.13 a.m. It's interesting. It's 9.28 right now. Okie dokie. What do we have for Pisces? Children are a factor. Big heart. We have somebody here that has a really big heart. Sometimes people don't want to be with somebody that has children, right? Or they don't want to leave because of the children. Or somehow children are impacting your decision. I get it. Gemini and Scorpio. You may be dealing with somebody that has Gemini or Scorpio or both in their chart. One or the other. Some of you have been receiving bad advice from a friend or family member. Could be one of these people. Um, I feel like this is a time where you need to get out of a situation. You're a role model for others. Keep that in mind. Listen to your heart. I feel like there's an, another choice here. I made this deck, and when I thought about this card, I was thinking, of it. obviously, it, it for me, it's like the lover's card, unexpected choice in love. You need to choose the partner that you're going to be with, you know, somebody that's on your level. What do we have for Pisces? You have been receiving bad advice from somebody. What do we have for Pisces? Ooh, Tower reversed. Avoiding disruption, right? But this is a permanent loss. It's a permanent change. It's unavoidable at this time. There may be a major disruption that is coming up in your life. You may have avoided it up until now, but the universe can see that there's a false sense of security here. I mean, this is, this is trying to avoid it trying to avoid the challenge of disruption, but this is a permanent loss. This is a sudden change. It is a very rude awakening because it has been resisted to an extreme. What do we have for Pisces? Avoiding challenge, staying put in a false sense of security. There could be a change in a living situation, a change in your foundation, could be your body, could be, you know, your vessel, it could be your job, could be your home, could be your body, whatever. There's going to be a change. It is unavoidable at this time. What do we have for Pisces? 
Some of you could be dealing with an Aries as well. Give back. Today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that, something, that someone really needs it today. Could be a Gemini, a Scorpio. This is open your heart. It could be kind, be, be loving. Show your love to somebody. There's something that you need to let go of as well. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you. The universe is going to be assisting you in some way. Trust me, it is. I feel like your heart has been... I feel like begging for something. Maybe it's to be free from something. I don't know. I feel like that's what the, this is. It's like the universe knows what your heart feels. It knows what your heart wants. What do we have for Pisces? You are on the right path. There's a, there's a door that you need to go through. But you need to get out of a situation and you're, try, you're avoiding it. You're avoiding it. You're avoiding it. You're avoiding it. Hmm. You may be going through some turbulence or a situation where there's children involved and you just need to get out of it. Maybe there's problems with the children. Unrequited love. You saw me shuffle. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. There's not. I feel like you need to listen to your heart. I feel like you need to nurture yourself. Anyhow, what do we have for Pisces? Avoiding it. Avoiding it, avoiding it, avoiding it. There's another option here. There is another option. And you have to consider the consequences of your choice. Do you stay in an unrequited love situation and settle for something that's going to bring you loneliness for the rest of your life when you could have love, when you could have your perfect counterpart? Hmm. What do we have for Pisces? You could be dealing with somebody, I feel like there's somebody here, obviously, that's one-sided. Ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. And you are on the right path, but you've got to keep walking. You've got to face the challenge. This is avoiding the challenge. Anytime you see a mountain, there is a challenge. You, gotta, you have to face the challenge. So there's something that you need to face. Keep going forward. The journey might be hard right now, but a great view awaits you. The most You most certainly can achieve your goal. However, you must continue forward through hard work and diligence. Do not give up. Even if it seems hard, keep going forward. Even if sometimes it seems that you are going up three steps and falling back two, you are still getting closer to your goal. Sometimes you may need to take smaller steps, but do not stop. Every step takes you closer to the peak of the mountain. And when you arrive, the view will be spectacular. It will be worth all of your hard effort. It's okay to stumble or fall down. Just don't stay down. Do not allow yourself to be limited by the beliefs of others or even by your own limiting beliefs or fears. Go beyond boundaries of self-imposed barriers. Live passionately and courageously. Keep moving forward fearlessly. Speak up for yourself. Honor your truth. This isn't the time to be timid or hold back. Hmm. <laughs> You need to keep moving. You need you, and you need to honor your own truth. You, and you also you need to be honest with yourself. 
Okay. What do we have for Pisces? Avoiding. It's definitely avoiding it. You've been avoiding. And maybe it's avoiding moving or avoiding disruption, avoiding change, avoiding starting over. But the universe can see. The universe can feel. I gotta show you what's on the bottom of this deck. I wasn't going to, but we have the judgment on the bottom. This is karma. This is making a judgment call. Okay? This is the end of things. It's a life changing decision. It is absolution, right? Judgment is absolution. It's finalization. It's truth. Acceptance. Acceptance of the truth. I feel like there is a, something that is happening that is going to be happening that is disruptive, I have to tell you. I think that it is disruptive. And I feel like this, this it's happening because you've been ignoring it, ignoring it, ignoring it. There is an unrequited love situation here, but it feels it fills some sort of void, huh? There is an opportunity that is waiting for you, but you're going to have to face the challenge and overcome an obstacle. Anyhow. What do we have for Pisces? There is going to be some obstacles because of the mountains here. Get prepared. There's going to be you're going to be dealing with some obstacles because of an unrequited love situation. Community Community. That's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to read it anyway, as I did for everybody else. Seek like-minded people. Be true to yourself. Again, be true to yourself. You're not being true to yourself. I know that you're not. Most of our education is provided through our community connections. We learn from our families, social circles, local school groups, and workplace. Having a strong sense of community gives our life meaning and purpose. You may have felt like you were adopted at birth, struggling to fit in with other people. Sometimes feeling alone and isolated has made it difficult to connect with people on a personal, personal level. Struggling with this has created an avenue for abusive relationships or seeking approval from others instead of just being yourself you don't need to change your personality to fit someone else's mold learn to love your differences and you will shine brighter than any star in the galaxy find your tribe your spirit tribe or soul tribe consists of people who understand you and love you without conditions this is a tribe right this is finding the people that you connect with on a deep soul level you have that opportunity. The opportunity is waiting for you to connect with somebody on a deep soul level. But you're in an unrequited love situation. I'm sorry. I'm just going to ignore it. This is pretend. This is fake. Don't be afraid to stand out. Now is the time to celebrate your differences. That's what makes you unique after all. Celebrate your uniqueness. Live your authenticity. Soul connections make strong and powerful relationships. Community participation is encouraged now. Engaging in community activities, volunteering for charity work or emergency services provides a sense of purpose. Community partnerships involving family and friends are important right now. Join a group or organization that interests you and you will benefit from your skills and experiences. You know, if you are single and you are watching this, the judgment is a card of the past. It is. It's the past. It could be coming back to haunt you. It could be hung up on the past. You know, there's consequences here. There is. Uh, when you get the lovers or, or even the judgment card, there's consequences for the actions that you do, that you take or you don't take. Um, some of you, if you are single, there's an opportunity once you go through that door that meet, go out in that community to meet somebody and connect with on a soul level. You could do that. But if you're holding on to the past or you are struggling to break free from a false sense of security, then you're stuck, right? Time to get out of the situation. You had this one recently. I know that you did. It's a false sense of security. It's a false foundation. It's not stable. It's not. And there's an opportunity that is waiting for you. 
I feel like if you, for some of you, you get out in the community, you go through a doorway, you could definitely, you know, connect with somebody on a deep level. But you have to face some sort of unrequ unrequited love challenge. That's what you need to do. <laughs> Accepting the truth is the biggest situation. It's the biggest deal. Judgment, the end of things, life-changing decision based on the facts, based on the truth. For some of you, I mean, this is like accepting, accepting, forgiving. Something about forgiveness here as well. Accepting whatever has happened has happened. Anyhow, what do we have for Pisces? You may be experiencing an uproar that you have avoided. And it's so that, that you can go through this new doorway. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. This is your beware of greed, though, because this is very arrogant. And we have the beware of greed. We have somebody here that's very arrogant. I want to have my cake and eat it, too. You may be dealing with somebody that's very arrogant. may not be you. This is somebody that wants to have it all. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is wish fulfillment. You know, it can be, but that's ego. There is ego involved with this Nine of Cups. There's deep satisfaction here. A chance, and judgment is a chance. There's a chance for wish fulfillment. There's a chance to have it all. Nine of Cups is, the, is emotional satisfaction. It's an emergency by the looks of things. That's for darn sure. Something is definitely going on. Right? By the looks of things. Pretty nonstop. Anyhow, the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is hard work. This is a businesswoman. It's somebody that takes care of everything. She takes care of the home. She takes care of the business. She takes care of the children. She takes care of the... <laughs> house you know she's a worker she cooks she cleans she's solid she's stable she does it all the queen of pentacles is the queen of value she's the queen of stability there's an opportunity for stability here long-term stability wish fulfillment there's a chance to have it all there's a chance to have it all but you have to know your value you have to know your worth there's obviously a woman here that is very very valuable right she is she's a worker she brings satisfaction very satisfied. This is pleased as punch. There's an opportunity for unity with this Queen of Pentacles. She's solid. She's stable. She's secure. You could be in this energy where you are grounding yourself. This is a re... I mean, the Queen of Pentacles holds a, holds a golden opportunity in her hand. She's also very real. She's all about reality, real wish fulfillment. That's real wish fulfillment. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. Keep moving forward. You need to be practical. You need to know your value. This is the queen of value. She knows her value. She's focused on her value. She's focused on what she has to offer. She does not settle. The queen of pentacles is not going to settle. She is not the only thing she's going to settle for is something solid. There's some sort of hard work here. It's not easy to have wish fulfillment. You have, there's work involved. You know, this, the Queen of Pentacles is very independent. She is. She's independent. She knows her value. She's not going to give what she has to somebody that is fake. So there is a golden opportunity that is waiting for you. This can lead to wish fulfillment. But when I made this deck, I, cons I was thinking of the lovers, which is a choice. You have to make a choice. You can't have your cake and eat it too.
You are being called to give. This is give back. Open your heart. Get out in your community or do something. Communicate. Opportunity is waiting for you. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment for long-term security here. But you have to make a choice in regards to what your value is and what wish fulfillment is. There's an op definitely an opportunity for deep fulfillment here. Something long-term. But you have to face challenges. You have to keep taking those steps. And you have to get out of a situation. I know you'd like to ignore it and pretend this card didn't come up. But that is not the truth, okay? The truth is, is that you got to get out of a situation to have the wish fulfillment that you are trying to manifest. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. You have to be practical. You have to be realistic. You have to ground yourself. You have to... face any obstacle you're going to be facing an obstacle there's this is you are this is unavoidable change it is a permanent loss of some sort that you've been avoiding i feel like you have all the skills you have everything you need to be successful on your own for some of you Some of you have an opportunity to be with somebody as well. You have an opportunity to partner up with somebody that you have shared values with. That can bring you a lot of wish fulfillment, a lot of happiness. But you have to be honest with yourself. So anyway, Pisces, I feel like this week, I feel like this week you're going to be dealing with something that you have been avoiding. And maybe some of you are in a situation where you just don't care for the children. You don't really want children. If that's the case, or if your children don't like the person that you're with, you know, you have to make a choice. Or the children don't like you. You have to make a choice. Is that going to bring you happiness? Is that going to bring you peace? What do you deserve anyway? Anyhow, there's an opportunity for deep fulfillment here. There is. There absolutely is. For long-term security. Long-term stability. But you do have to get out of a situation. I can't make that up. That card... Oh, no, I'm just going to ignore that. Well, that's what's been happening, right? So there could be an uproar. There could be some turbulence. This is a permanent loss. You never saw it coming. This is a major disruption that forces you to deal with something that you have been avoiding. There could definitely be a challenge here. Whenever you get a mountain, you can expect a challenge. There could even be some financial challenges. We may have somebody here that, you know, the outside appearances are more important than love. Maybe that's the lesson that needs to be learned here. It'd be really sad. You think about Judgment Day. It'd be really sad to get up there, you know, when it's all over and look down and like, oh my God, I wasted my life on that. Come back and have to repeat it again or, and, or have less next time, you know, because there's judgment. There's judgment for the actions, right? Good luck.